Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In the fourth part of this Movie Edit Pro Plus tutorial we're going to focus on editing content. So in the previous tutorial we took some of the content from this directory and we dragged and dropped it into the timeline in the relevant sequence. So we have an introduction here, we have a slide and then we have the video tutorial here. We want to make some edits to this. To navigate the content we use the timeline marker here. It's a little orange marker. We can drag across the timeline and you can see the video content will display here and as we drag and go across it will show you the slide. So here we have the intro, here we have the slide itself and then the video content starts to, uh, the actual tutorial starts to play here. So I know that I need to do some edits to this content. The intro is perfectly fine. I've already edited that before and the intro slide is actually okay as well but I'm going to show you how to reduce or increase the actual uh, duration of that still slide here. But let's focus on the video content first. So normally what I would do is drag and drop the timeline marker around this sort of position and when I create a tutorial video I normally leave around 5 seconds of still image at the beginning so I know where to cut. And the reason I do that for is so that I can then do a transition between the slide and the actual intro of the video tutorial here. So we'll click the play button here and what we're looking for is to mark on the timeline where I start to speak which should roughly be around this 20 second marker. Hi and welcome to this... Hi and welcome... So I know around this position here I start to speak in the actual tutorial so let's just press play one more time. Hi and welcome to and that's exactly where I start to speak so I want to cut some of this blank section here but not all of it I want to leave some of it so that I can use that for the transition. So I'm going to scrub back to around this position here about here and I want to get rid of all of this content here so I'm going to move the marker to this position and then select the split object tool here this option. That will split the video into two sections anything before and everything afterwards. So I can now select this part and delete it. The next thing I want to do is show you how to change the duration of this still image. So this is actually just a still graphic. So you can do that by dragging and we could drag it across like this or we can right click and we can go to change photo length here and we can set it to a specific duration and normally I would set this to around 8 seconds around 8 seconds and click OK. So we can drag the video back to this position here and we know that the cut is now clean and what we want to do next is edit the end of the video. So we're going to go right down to the end of the timeline and we move our what we can do is to move the timeline cursor we can just click above the video so if I click somewhere around here that's where it will start to play the content from and here I can see there's no audio so I want to move back on the timeline to where I can hear myself speaking tutorial tutorial so right about here I'm just finishing off the tutorial right about here P web tutorial and I finish speaking at around this sort of position so all of this is really just still frames you could say and I want to get rid of most of this content but keep some of it for the entrance transition so I'm going to move from this position to around here and I'm going to use the cut tool again and this time I want to get rid of this end part of the video so I'm going to select it and press the, the delete key on my keyboard so now I have, I've done basically all of the ed basic editing that I want to do so I've got the intro, I've got the intro slide and I've got the video content correctly edited so that I can actually finalize the video so let's save our work here so I'm going to click save and in the next video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add the transitions to the video. I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial. 